What's up, YouTube? This is Perry with Premier Guitar here in Japan uh, for a very, very, very special treat. We are here with uh, Joji Haneda, um, and he's going to show us how ESP Japan makes their guitars from boot to bonnet, right? From the raw wood stock all the way up through the final process and assembly. Also, we'll take a look at the custom shop, which is kind of amazing. Uh, before we start, um, I think it's pretty interesting that uh, everyone that works here yep. plays guitar. Yes. That's cool. That's not a lot, it's, it's unlike a lot of factories in America, you yep. don't really see that. Also, to work in this factory here at uh, ESP, you have to go to a school, right? Yes, Guitar Craft Academy. Guitar Craft yeah. Academy? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. And then how long does that process take? Uh, normally like two years. Two years? Yeah. Wow. But some of the people will be like, want to study more, maybe, you know, extend, you know, a little longer, yeah. Go to school a little yeah, longer. Yeah. Beyond that, to work in the custom shop where the actual customs are made, how long do you have to, to work in the factory? Uh, at least like uh, 10 years. Wow. Yeah. So school, experience. Yes. So you need to know every station of the process yeah, before yeah. you can yeah. get a job in the custom shop. Yes. Very cool. That is <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, let's go inside and take a look. Okay, oh, check cool. it out. All right. Yeah. All right, Joji, here we are in the raw Woodstock room. Mm -hmm. So this is where all the bodies are selected? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then next door, there's actually another room where all the necks are just blanks. So when it comes in, when the wood comes in, it's just a big slab of wood. Yeah, like that. And then it gets cut, like yeah. a, a rough cut, like rough this. Rough cut, like, like this one. Okay. Would you like to see that? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look. Take a look. So one? one solid piece of wood gets shaped yeah. into what will become a guitar, which is awesome. Yeah. So at this point of the process, it's just you cut off the excess, and now it's ready for CNC. Yes, yes, right? yeah. And so after CNC, it will become something like what you just had, right? Like this, this guy. This one over here. Cool. Yeah. So you can see that beautiful carved top. That's awesome. And so this will be a model for NAM. For NAM, yeah. yeah. For the exhibition limited model. Yeah, and it will be in the next year, January. Yeah. We'll see this? Yeah. If you guys uh, follow our channel, you, I'm sure you've seen our NAM, NAM coverage and uh, ESP always makes a huge splash at NAM because of the wild and crazy finishes and colors and just cool guitars and even the, the custom shop stuff blows everybody's mind. It's so cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's only four guys that work in the ESP custom shop, which is amazing. So they handle every single custom order that comes in. That's awesome. So let's go take a look at uh, how these are created. Yeah, yeah. All right, Joji, it's yep. re really loud in here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So this is uh, the CNC machine working on our body right now, huh? Yes, yes. Cool. Cool thing about this is even after it's been CNC'd, mm -hmm. it's touched by many hands. It's uh, yeah. hands yeah. done by hand, yeah. right? That's how we started, you know, in the beginning, like handwork. All handmade. Yeah. So like right here, this has already been CNC'd, right? Yeah. So next, this will go to be hand sanded. Hand sanding, and yeah, and cut, you know, these. The excess yeah. cut off? Yeah. Cool, yeah. Let's go see how it's uh, sure. sanded. All right, Joji, yep. here we are where you guys are sanding this stuff. Yep. Um, how many employees are total for ESP uh, Japan? Oh, we got around like a 50. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's crazy. That's it. Focus that's... on the handmade. Oh, yeah. focus, yeah. You see yeah. here this guy's really working on that top. It's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. That's cool. So this is actually in the process. This has already had binding. Yeah. And then it's getting another sand. Yeah. So if you see behind us, we got guys doing binding. They're hand sanding the necks hand sanding the body. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I guess, uh, it goes to... To the painting. Painting, ah, yeah. okay, cool. Upstairs, starting upstairs. Yeah, let's go yeah. check that out. Yeah. All right, Joji, before we go upstairs to yep. the painting and the sanding, um, something over here caught my eye. So, are these production models, or what, what will these be? These are uh, actually, you know, uh, it's called a uh, uh, exhibition limited model. Ah. Like, uh, we bring those guitars to the NAM show, like, every year. Crazy. Yeah, and this for the next year. This is for Nam next year. Yeah. Cool. So, like, tell me about like what's this beautiful burl here? Like, what kind yeah. of wood is this? This the uh, you know the uh, burl maple. Burl and maple. It's like a mahogany body. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the mahogany neck. Cool. Yeah. That's a beautiful piece of wood. Yeah, man. it's really beautiful. Really cool. Yeah. All right. So one more before we go upstairs. Uh, what's tell me about this guy? This guy. Look at the inlay, guys. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy it's inlay. Such a cool shape. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and cool. yeah, same. This is like a burl maple. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is the ash. And uh, 
What's that? Uh, the bird's eye, bird's eye maple? Bird's eye maple yeah, for the yeah, neck, yeah. yeah. All right, so downstairs, obviously we saw mm -hmm. the, the, the bodies getting sanded yep. and shaped, and mm -hmm. up here they come for, if it's a natural wood finish, it gets a stain. Yeah. And then it gets painted in here, right? Yes. How many dudes total do the painting? Uh, normally two, sometimes three, you know, but that's, you it. Know, that's it, yeah. That's crazy. Um, you guys have notoriously some wild, wild designs, like mm -hmm. cool ass shredder guitars. Like, yeah, yeah. Who, who does, does everybody contribute or does you have a designer or how does that work? Actually, we don't have like a particular like a designer, but you know, mainly the idea will become, you know, that came from the, you know, the, the custom shop guy uh -huh. the, uh, in another factories there. But mainly we like uh, the idea will come out from like each, you know, like a luthier in here. Wow, yeah, that's so they cool. have their own vision, and then they want to make this, they want to make that. So know. everybody contributes. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's and they've all been to guitar school for a couple of years, so yes. they know what they're doing. And most important thing is that most of them are metal heads, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you got you like heavy metal? Metal <laughs> That's so cool, man. That's so cool. So um, after they get painted mm -hmm. uh, or stained, what happens then? Uh, there's another booth over there. They they do like a you know like a, a ceiling top coat things. Those are clear yeah. coat. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys use a poly? I'm sure. Uh, mainly poly, but mm -hmm. you know maybe sometimes like a, a nitro. Oh, for customs uh, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, sometimes you know. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. And then after that, it gets mm -hmm. sanded again, huh? Sanded again. And again. <laughs> again and again. So make sure everything is perfect. Oh man, yeah. that's so cool. Um, so what's he working on here? That is. Beautiful. That one is a uh, stream bass. This is the bass, uh, string bass. Actually, this is also, uh, I'm not sure, but you know, this is a bass. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool, man. I love that it's uh, the, the top is just so cool. Yeah. Right on. All right. So after it's sanded again and again, mm -hmm. then what? Buffing, right? Buffing. When the guitar comes to this room, yep. how much time does it spend in here? How long does uh, it take to buff? It's about two hours. For per guitar. guitar? Yeah, per guitar. Wow, yeah. wow. And how many guys uh, work in, in buffing? In buffing, it's about like a four or five, you know, because uh, everybody has uh, something, other, other things to do sometimes. Oh, right. So, yeah. Because you, I'm with, you guys, I mean, ESP is a big deal, and yeah. there's only like 50 employees, so yeah. you're putting out a lot of guitars. Yeah. So everyone here must have several jobs, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, you know, this is the uh, KH2 at uh, Demo Demonology. Demonology. Yeah, Demonology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's difficult to pronounce. You know? <laughs> and you know, normally you like uh, normally we do like a, you know assembly that's in the another factories. Mm -hmm. But for this guitar, because as you see, this this is uh, some special paint. Right. And also the pickup got a painting, so it has to be check in here and then, and then assembled in here to see you know the paintings should be matched on oh, the body. So it's like a color match. Yeah, almost. the color match on there. And that's only for. Uh, yeah, this kind of guitars. Oh, and so even the pickup mounting ring, so the covers are, are painted as well. It looks like. Yeah, because for this model, yes, it's painting on the top top of the pickup, you know. All right, Joji. Yep. So now we're in another factory, which is really close to the other one. Yep. Right. Yeah. And so what happens in this building? Uh, this building is like uh, uh, mainly in here. This room, like, um, it's mainly doing the assemb assembly. Like final assembly. Fin final assembly here. Pickups. Pickups, yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. Tuners, tuners. All, the, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, and the body in here, this is uh, ready for the, doing the assembly here. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, this one is uh, our new product. Uh, the called the uh, new, model. Sna new model, the mm -hmm. snapper. And you know, this is called, uh, I cannot explain like uh, really the detailed things, but it's called like a sand blasting. Ah. Yeah, so you can touch, you can feel like a, it's. Oh, really, it's textured, almost yeah. like a, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so yeah, cool. This would be ready soon, you know. Yeah. yeah. So how do you get the uh, blue in there? Is it just a paint, or is it an epoxy that's sanded? Uh, actually, there's this kind of like a special machines in downstairs. Oh yeah. Uh, it's only doing like this called uh, uh, sand blasting, you know. It's kind of like a. It feels like driftwood. Driftwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. cool. That's yeah. really really cool. Do you have some other finishes that we could check out? Like. Yeah. Um, this is beautiful. That one. This is uh, Japan only, right? Yeah. This one also, it's called uh, a snapper mm -hmm. models, but with the, you know, like a burl and uh, some special colors. All right, Joji, so mm -hmm. after um, the, you know, the pickup holes have been templated and stuff like that, mm -hmm. what else happens? Uh, what, what, before it goes out the door, what, el what else has to happen? Obviously, got to install Yeah, installed pickups. And pickups mm -hmm. and uh, like a, a flat work. 
Uh -huh. And uh, so when they're doing the frets, is it um, obviously by hand, but just with a file? Yeah, mm -hmm. by hand. You know, mm -hmm. that's one of the really special things about our guitar is that flit work. Ah. It makes you feel like a, the neck is really smooth. You know? Right, right. You know, there's nothing's gonna it's stuck not, on your not gonna catch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Cool, and then after that, what it like? After that, like, we do like a final tune polish. The tuners tunings, are installed. Yeah, tuners installed, and then, uh, you know, wiping the guitars over there, and mm -hmm. then putting the box. Here uh, we have the, the finished one here, and then you know that the, everything's done. The QC's been you know done, and uh, it played and checked, and it's been uh, ready to ship out. You know. <laughs> this is awesome. Is this a new finish? I don't yeah, think. Yeah, the I've new seen finish. This. Yeah. So pretty, man. That is rad. Yeah, you don't see yeah. like uh, you know like Eclipse with this kind of like. Uh, Different, yeah. yeah, and you're right. The fretwork is just it's unbelievable. Really yeah. yeah, wow, that's really cool. Uh, I wanna, I wanna take it. <laughs> 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 All right. Last but not least, we'll go check out some of the wacky stuff that the uh, custom shop yep. does. All right, man. So here we are at the custom shop, yep. which is actually pretty small. Yes. Because there's only four guys. Yeah, only four guys in here. All right. Yeah, so this is where like they've made like the Buccaneer guitar and the Archangel yes. and all those crazy things you see yeah. at the, on, the, on the NAM floor. Um, how much time goes into something like that? Um, normally, it's about like a one year. A year. But depends on the, the right, shape, of course, you know, yeah, depends yeah. on the, the wood and then design. You know, maybe sometimes it took maybe like a two years to make one guitar. But average is like a one year. Average is one yeah. year. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> so, is it stuff that you guys dream up, or is it something that is commissioned, or how do you come up with the real wacky stuff that you guys do? Uh, that's actually they have the image already, uh -huh. but you know sometimes like we like have a picture to, they to got work a pictures, with. work with, and then maybe discuss with us with the sales team about you know like a the shape logistics, the design, yeah, yeah. yeah how, how and it's also work. they're also like a doing something like a experimental things, you know, like try something new that no one did you know, before, you know, some. You know, the crazy things, you know, they, they try to do this in here, and yeah. Man, that's so cool. Man, I've always been a huge fan of ESP. I've, mm -hmm. I've played them all my life. It's been a real, real big honor to like come yeah. here and to see how these are made right mm -hmm. here in Japan, and it's, it's really cool. So yeah. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Arigato. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for rig rundowns, riff rundowns, other factory tours. We got all kinds of guitar related content coming to you all the time. So. Click subscribe, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>